Well, come in, so you, you. Um, so, 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 so there's a there's an interesting message that comes from Ansar, and uh, uh, Ansar says, "I have a comment." Um, by by the supreme by the Supreme Court ruling, does it mean a sitting MPP MP can go round and campaign against Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia, and then the MPP, and then and then the MPP's candidate? and still insist that he or she is an MPP member and an MPP will have no right to punish the person or vote against <laughs> the person or get right angry or get angry for campaigning against the party. Amid th this message, what do you, you, know, you know, how you do we, how, you know, no, no. You know, but you refuse to you know, answer. No, I have answered it. As, as we my, have a right. As my good friend was, an as my good friend was uh, giving his commentary, what the person was saying went through my mind. But let me ask a question. Is there no implied intention mm. by the person's action? And is implied intention not considered by courts and even within the constitution and when you look at courts in, cons in considering implied intention they interpret ambiguous provisions addressing constitutional gaps or silences is that not silent silences resolving conflicts between provisions and ensuring consistency with constitutional values. There is an implied intention by the individual. So let me ask from the, what do you call it you just read? If mm. my good friend who is MPP is in parliament and he decides with this particular sitting, he decides and announces to the whole world, I no more believe in the tenants of the MPP I represent in Parliament. In fact, I, I don't think some of the things they do is even right. So in the next Parliament, I'm going to another political party. Eh? What do you think the MPP will do? According to their own constitution. They said they reserve the right would, to take an action. Would they, would they not say the man, he doesn't believe in us anymore. He's not with us anymore. He's deciding to go to another party. So what is he doing here? What, would they not write a letter to the speaker, eh, according to their constitution, that the man is no more a member of our party? Will he not have crossed carpet then? Look. Where I stand, eh, I stand with the judges who dissented. Why do, why do I say that? I feel the Supreme Court, yes, has the right mm, to interpret any ambiguity or unclearness where the Constitution is concerned. Once you do that, especially in this case, and I've heard the MPP people talk about 99, eh? The Supreme Court should have redirected the case back to 99. To the High Court. To be able to determine whether the individuals had crossed carpet. Because that's what the Constitution says. And it is in their bosom to redirect it back to 99. They should have instructed that because we have an article in the Constitution that talks about someone leaving their party or not, we are redirecting it, it should go to the Supreme Court and it should go to the High Court. And if the High Court also misinterprets the law, we would come in and reinterpret it and clear it. Did that happen? And it's created a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion. But, you see, the good thing, eh, the good thing is that this is happening at the tail end of the term of parliament and of the governance process. Meaning what? Are we not at the tail end? Yes, meaning what? Yeah? In terms of 
Can you imagine if this happened way earlier? Like usually the two years that they uh, tend to do uh, the, the mid-term. Uh, do you know the kind of confusion it have brought? Because there's, a, the, the, there's a, please, when you were talking, I was quiet. Oh, no, I'm not interrupting. Yeah, you are interrupting me. You are. The Supreme Court. No, no, I'm so sorry. Uh, the, sup the Supreme Court, at the present moment. Ah, so, so practically, you are saying that just in case, let's say the new parliament comes 2024, uh, 2025. Yeah. Then usually the parties in opposition, yeah. they usually elect their officers midterm, and by the end of the second year, third year, they've elected all their candidates and things like that, ideally, barring any delays. Mm -hmm. You are saying this could cause confusion. Ah. If I decided that, okay, I let I'm in, and I decided that no, yes, I came on the MPP ticket, I came on the NDC ticket, I came on the CPP ticket. But meet them, I'm not interested in them. Will the party sit and let them stay there? Eh? Do you think the party, you think, I see Dunket here, will sit and let him stay there? You say, eh, you don't want to be part of us again. Is that what you're saying? Then what are you sitting there for? But the constitution says you came on the ticket of a party. And you have decided. You have shown the intention by deciding to go somewhere else. No, be so. Your constitution doesn't it say so. Mm. That you would what? Perfect. What does your constitution say? Uh, no, what is their constitution? The MPP constitution. <laughs> yes, read Please, it for, no, uh, read it for me. So, so, Sandra, so, put it on the screen. Read it for me. Read it for me. What does so, it say? Sandra, put the MPP one. So, 39. Yes, what does it say? A member of the party, this uh -huh. MPP party, yes. who stands as an independent uh -huh. candidate against the officially elected member of the party, uh -huh. or who joins uh -huh. or declares his or his support for another political uh -huh. party, uh -huh. of an independent candidate, uh -huh. like I did for Alan Chemantin, uh -huh. When the party has sponsored a candidate in a general election, mm -hmm. by election, automatically uh -huh. forfeits his or her uh -huh. membership. So this one, there's, of no, the party. there's no point uh -huh. for and, negotiation and, 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 and to seek damage. Automatically, this one, is it in the present or is it in the future? Or is it both? <laughs> Don't confuse us. It's both. <laughs> Automatic. <laughs> so then, oh, go to please. the high court. Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> Let me finish. All right. Please, that is, that, no, please, please, it's okay. It's okay. Let's, let's oh, conclude on this. Masa, conclude. Sorry, I, I begin Masa, one, one last round. That before. is why I feel that the Supreme Court should have redirected back to the High Court mm. and probably ordered Parliament to follow the principles in the Constitution and let the High Court decide whether they have exited their seat or not. I cannot go and pick a nomination form from the NDC without joining them. Impossible. They'll be the first people who pick up a post and say, Janta, what are you doing? Are you part of our party? I cannot do that. Nor can I do that with the MPP. Nor can I do that with movement. The Supreme Court has made a decision. For me, what I want to happen let sleeping dogs lie. There are important bills in Parliament that need to be passed before Parliament rises. And for me, one of the major bills that we all need to have consideration for is the temporary budget for uh, handing first over quarter. the first quarter. That is important. So, I plead with the speaker, I will plead with the speaker. Let's let let's let sleeping dogs lie. The the body language of the Supreme Court judges themselves. You saw that they looked a bit perturbed and fed up of what was going on. So let's let sleeping dogs lie. Let Parliament reopen. And NDC, I beg, you've made your point. You've made your point. Ghanaians who will support you will support you. Ghanaians who won't support you won't support you. Please, go back to your seats and let Parliament work. At least for the few days we have left for Parliament to sit. Because we were supposed to rise yesterday, wasn't it? November 14th, if I'm not mistaken. They would have to come back again when? After elections. <coughs> and if elections go second round, Eh? Will they be able to <coughs> come back? They won't. Short time. So please, I would say, Parliament is an important institution in this country. Parliament is an institution that handles legislative 
laws for our country. And there are legislative laws that need to be passed and heard. So I beg, Mr. Speaker, call par recall parliament. And you see, the other thing that the political party shouldn't do, they shouldn't now, MPP shouldn't now walk into parliament and be shouting, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it is not important. Why not? Why should it be? Yeah, we've won against, we've won against. That riles a lot of, of, of dissension. It riles a lot of dissension. If Suka calls and he says, go sit to your seat, go sit to your seat, let it go. For me, I hang parliament. The sitting for me is not important. 137, 137 plus one. For me, it's neither here or there where you sit. If you had majority, maybe so. It's hung. And the NDC cannot call government business, can they? Even if they say they are majority, can they call government business? They can't. All right. So let's stop all this kafafo. It's gone through the process. You, you said we should stop or what? All the kafafo. Kafafo. Yes. Let's all stop right. it and Thank let's you move very forward. Much. Thank you very much, gentlemen.